Well, hello everybody. Uh, I just got back from the flea market. Didn't expect to find anything, but I got a couple of things. Uh, one was, I uh, missed a silver contest too, so I played close attention. Testing kit. So I can test 10, 14, 18, and 24 karat gold and test silver. A couple, a couple drops of that. And finally, I broke down and bought myself a scale. I don't know what for, but <coughs> I'm starting to get a few calls. People found out that I buy silver and pay better than they do at uh, other local places. And just happened, Tom was there, and I've had my eye on these for a while. So I decided to spring and get, oh, besides that, I got my usual my fruit, my bananas, my cherries, my lemons, my limes, some uh, strawberries, the usual stuff. Uh, but I think what you might be interested in is I bought a couple of a couple more of my bird friends, and here they are. There's one. And in case you can't see it, these babies are 10 ounces. And while he was flying around, look what else flew in. Ugh, another one. And Tom knows I'm crazy about coops. But being as I got a deal for the, for the testing kit. And the scale. And Mark was there. And we were looking at these. And I was trying to decide which one was in the better shape. And we couldn't decide. So I bought them both. Now here's the contest. And this is a very simple one. So we don't have to go back to all this subjective crap. And I'm still I'm still dying to give away that eagle for anybody that can tell me what that fossil is, which nobody seems to have done their homework. I've been looking into it and looking into it, and I am no closer now. I've Well, I shouldn't say that because I've eliminated one hell of a lot of things. I've eliminated hundreds of dinosaurs. I've eliminated hundreds of, of deer, elk, goat, sheep, all that uh, eliminated. Uh, somebody said it was a giant sloth, and I and I've seen lots of uh, skulls from giant sloths, and no, it's not even close to a giant sloth. So the sloths are out of the game. Uh, bears and all that are out of it. Anything with with uh, major incisors, they're out of it. But that still leaves whatever it is. So still looking for whatever it is. Now the game uh, today. The contest is a simple one. I bought uh, some fruit, some vegetables, a couple of these babies, and a scale and a testing kit. Now all I want you to tell me is what I spent. What did Rocky spend at the flea market this morning? And anybody who will make it within five bucks gets gets a Morgan and otherwise the closest one gets a 50 cent piece and maybe a couple of couple of quarters uh, as most of my Morgans have been buried and I don't want to promise something I don't have uh, so uh, back to the old contest and we'll see what happens uh, now Dave he went to a coin show this weekend so there won't be anything new tomorrow and I doubt that Tom will pick up anything because it's raining. It was raining like crazy here when I left the flea market today. So there's my uh, my twin brothers, the twin twin kooks, and we'll just see what you can come up with.
as far as total expenditures today at the flea market. So thanks everybody for watching. This was a short one and by all means if you get a chance go back and look at those fossils and send it to anybody you want. Anybody can name that damn thing um, and then I can verify it uh, gets an evil. So thanks for your time and this contest might be over as early as uh, tomorrow afternoon. Not sure. Or I might carry it into Monday because I'm still, I'm still uh, all twisted up about the fact that that, that uh, even the uh, this uh, friend, new friend of mine I made in Canada, uh, from a Canadian guy, he uh, he sent it off to some paleontology, paleontological society in Canada, and they guessed the sloth. Uh, they said it was a quick guess, so just somebody threw that out, and believe me. Sorry, but it's not a sloth. Uh, so, thanks again for your time, and I'll get back to you soon. We'll have a winner.